Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna tell you about variables in details. Here we learn what is variable, rules for constructing variable names, how to declare a variable and printing the value of the variable. So let's start. What is variable? A variable is an entity that may change its value. There are three types of primary variables and they are integer, real or floating point and character. There are many rules to construct a variable name which we learn one by one. A variable name is any combination of one to 31st alphabets, digit or underscores. The first character in the variable name must be an alphabet or an underscore. So age, h 3 underscore day are all valid variable names. Nine age is not a valid variable name because first character 9 is a digit and has day is also not a valid variable name because first character has is a special symbol. The first character in the variable name must be an alphabet or underscore. No commas or blanks are allowed within a variable name. So my age is not a valid variable name because there is a comma between them. And basic salary is not also a valid variable name because there is a space between basic and salary. No special symbol other than an underscore can be used in a variable name. So basic underscore salary is a valid variable name. But basic dollar salary, basic hash salary are not valid variable names. Any keywords such as float, int, go to or function names such as printf, scanf, main cannot be used as a valid variable names. Here we learn how to declare a variable. Before declare a variable, you must decide which type of value you want to store. If you want to store an integer value, then you need to declare an integer variable. If you want to store a float value, then you need to declare a float type variable. Here we declare an integer variable. So to declare an integer variable, first write its type, that is int, and then give the variable name, suppose wait. And the statement is terminated by a semicolon. This is called variable declaration. Now I assign a value to this variable. Suppose weight equal to 56. Equal to is called assignment operator. Now the variable weight hold the value 56. Next we print the value of the variable using a function that is called printf. Printf. My weight is percent D kg. Here I print a integer value. So I use the format specifier percent D. For float value, we use the format specifier percent F. And for character value, we use the format specifier percent C. And now give a comma here and write the name of the variable. That is weight. Compile it. done and run it okay my weight is 56 kg we know a variable may change its value so now we change the value of the variable and assign a new value to the variable weight suppose weight equal to 60 and now print the value of the variable weight copy this and paste here class in now my weight is percentage dkg now it prints 60 not 56 because when I assign weight equal to 60 it overrides the previous value and store the new value 60 because a variable can store only one value at a time compile it done at run it see here in first case my weight is 56 kg but now my weight is 60 kg a variable can also hold the result of the calculation also so we can change the value of the variable in this way also weight equal to weight 
plus 2. Here we assign weight equal to 56. So 56 plus 2 that is 58. So now weight hold the value 58. Check it. Compile it. Done. And run it. Now my weight is 58 kg. There is another way to change the value of the variable that is 60 plus 2. Compile it, done and run it. Now my weight is 62 kg. That's all. Hope you understand. Next tutorial I discuss about printf function. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel.